In this video, let's review the Japanese yen very quickly. This is the daily chart, and you can see down here in the bottom we have this nice little 1, 2, 3 ABC pattern in here. As we come in with this uh, uh, reversal and the, the expectation of the market to begin a new rally, and of course that happened back around December on the on the daily chart and I'm just gonna delete that out of there and we're gonna come in we're gonna count our waves so the first thing we want to do is just kinda come in here and count and of course the breaks with the blue light is telling us where we wanna make our new count so that's X one two here's three this is four down here this is five up here almost a little double top and we think this is probably pretty much the top up in here and so we're gonna look for this mark to start to retrace and rebound down into this region here so if we come in with our Fibonacci ruler just draw from the bottom of this trend to the top of the trend you can see again that our projection is down into this region here for a retracement so we'll look for this market to to kind of make this little double top up in here watch for a break it might go up and break up above this uh, B point just to prove it can but then I think I'm a little bit bearish on this market and I think we're gonna see a retracement or a pullback back and down to at least 38.2 into the sweet spot of the Fibonacci ruler let's come down in this case come down to the range bar six and see what the market did this morning on the very small time frame you can see at nine o'clock this morning this market started to move for us and if we just slide back into the pre-session market you can see that it was on the move back here too so this is a good indication that we're going to see some volatility in the market today in the Japanese yen. So we come out here about 9.30. Of course, you see this is about where the stock market opens up in the U.S. on the East Coast. And, of course, we've got this nice, beautiful trend line with a breaking of the trend line at the arrow. And if we come in, just a quick dollar calculator on there from the bottom. If we just got out on that very first trend, that would about a $118 move. Of course, that doesn't represent commissions and fees. The swing trade right in here, if this comes back in here, and if we miss that, and we put our trend in here to go to take another short position, we'd come in with this one and catch this next trend down you see again not a very big move but about a hundred dollars in there again no commissions and fees and then we got one more downtrend in here we come in with our nice little trend line across here notice how I just draw that trend line right across where the blue light tells me to draw it it's a mathematically calculated trend line and that thing comes in and we get one more drop off that trend to the bottom here this is hundred and twenty five dollars and we're at the bottom of that trend that's a three drive pattern if we're smart enough we picked up that next drive up for the top frame and we come down with a nice trend line across there the breaking of the trend line and the market begins to rally up to the exit that's about a $262 move the largest move of the day and of course those numbers don't represent commissions and fees but that's just a quick insight into the Japanese yen for this morning's market